Alrighty, what were we doing? What were we doing? I believe we were gonna go talk to Clay. Oh boy. Whoa, don't touch me. Get, get your hands off me. Six feet, Clay. Six feet. Come on. Clay, I really don't want it. Do I have to? Do I have to? Fine. Alrighty, do I remember this? It's been a while. Um, there's one right there, right? Yeah. Um, something over here. There we go. And then over here somewhere is one of them, right? Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, there we go. Rogue sight useless. All right, rogue sight round two. Bam. 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 Come on. Come on, where's it at? Where's it at? Hello, rogue sight. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Hey, bean burrito. So during the quarantine, I was like, I need, I need a nice, a nice juicy game, a nice beefy game I haven't played before. So I started Red Dead Redemption 2. It's very strange because half the time I'm playing it, I'm like, this is this game is this is amazing, but then the other half, I'm like, I hate this. This is the worst game I've played because when when you're when you're riding into a place for 10 minutes and all you're doing is riding the horse and holding down the a button because you, you can't just you know let it go by itself of course you got to hold down the a button and tap a ah, i hate it i hate that part so much but when you get to the parts and you're shooting stuff and then you get to like a cutscene, like the dialogue is good the cutscenes are good it's just the riding your horse across the entire map is terrible and also also why 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 can you not just fast travel back to your camp but like when the game is firing on all cylinders it's fantastic. But when you're doing the down, like, and it's, I, I got a notification, right? It's like, your horse is dirty. Your horse's core health will drain faster when it's dirty. Get off your horse and brush it. I'm like, what? I understand the want for constant action, but I really enjoy the slow Red Dead 2 gameplay. There's a balance for sure, because I get it. Like, I play Skyrim with no fast travel most of the time. I like just walking around, like wandering around. But like in Skyrim, you're just wandering around doing your own thing. In Red Dead, like the main meat of the game is the missions. And the missions all have five minutes of riding a horse between the mission starting and then the mission actually happening. And also, when you're looting a body, he's got to kneel down and go, huh? huh, huh looks like there's nothing in that pocket. Uh, check the other pocket. No. Maybe behind the vest. Nope. Not behind the vest. Okay. Maybe behind the ear. Behind the ear. Nah, that was silly behind the ear. Oh, maybe, maybe down the pants. Oh, there we go. There we go. It was in his left back breast pocket. Got it. Nice. For every single body. Like, at that point, just, just make it, just make it Borderlands loot. Like, just let me walk up to the ammo and go and suck it up. Why do I got to loot every single guy with a five second animation? I'm just now discovering Red Dead 2. So I know none of these complaints are original. It's just, I just started playing it today. And these are the things that I noticed that annoy me. Some guy commented on YouTube. He was like, I've really been enjoying how positive these streams are lately. Not a lot of negativity. Keep it up. Sorry, bro. Sorry, buddy. Eden 6 really brings out the negativity. Yeah, man. It was it was a great run. I was having a good time. Very positive vibes. And then I come here. I do the rogue site mission. Immediately start complaining for like 10 minutes straight. Don't you hate it when you've been following a YouTuber or a streamer for a while? And then they, they started off small and humble. But then they get really big and just become a giant sellout. What's your favorite state and why? Hmm, good question. Ohio's pretty trash. Yeah, exactly. What, what does Ohio even have? They don't even have anything over there. Dweebs live in Ohio? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ohio's a bunch of dweebs. If you live in Ohio, I'm sorry, but you're a dweeb. Texas? Yeah, Texas is much better, dude. Texas has that iconic shape. It's got the iconic Battle of the Alamo happen there, I think, right? That was Texas. When you're thinking of the American stereotype, like if you're trying to think of a mildly racist stereotype for each country, if you're like a European guy and someone says, what's an American? Probably your go-to is either like a fat slob or a Texas fat slob. Like he's got spurs on, he's got way too big jeans, he's very obese, he's very old, he's got a 10 gallon Doug Demodome hat, and he's got like 50 assault rifles, and he's going, yeehaw, America, baby. That's the American stereotype. So, and that that's pretty much Texas. So I gotta go with Texas as my favorite state. Don't you be saying Texas is stupid. No, Texas is not stupid. You can't, nope, I'll get Sandy. I'll get Sandy to come beat you up. She'll lasso you in and blow you up with a nuclear bomb. Texas is the primary sponsor of the Jacobs Corporation. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you like the rootin' tootin' cowboy nature of the Jacobs guns, you know who you got to thank for that? Texas. Texans unite. No, I'm not Texan. No. <laughs> I'm not Texan. I don't want to be associated with those guys. I'm just saying. I like the stereotype. Rank all of your channels in a tier list. Bobo Shoes Games is S tier. Bobo Shoes 2s. Eh, it's like, it's like B tier. Bobo Shoes D&D uh, is not on this hero list and the Ernest Brothers archives it's a, it's a solid a solid D plus oh my god <laughs> this, this game can be so violent it's a cartoony game but it can be extremely gory like look they, they freaking rip their arms off they rip their leg off Ugh. you can you can like see the tendons oh man oh, oh I'm gonna be sick <laughs> look out guys artillery artillery Woo! give me the old war war one I call this one the mustard gas special when do I get this gun I want this thing. Doom guy has this thing. Why can't I have it? I'm green. My arm's green just like him. Wood. 
is my great passion. Lady. Don't lean so far. You're going to fall out the window. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to pay for this glass? It's not cheap. This stuff is expensive. If you're going to break it, you buy it, missy. Bob the tomato was like Squidward, but like not a sympathetic Squidward. Like Squidward, like, yeah, he's a grouch, but like you can see why. All his dreams get dashed repeatedly. He lives next to SpongeBob. He works at McDonald's. It's pretty bad. Bob the tomato, on the other hand, is just as much as a killjoy as Squidward, if not more. But guess what? His redeeming qualities is zero. He's just a jerk. Randy Pitchard is a self-proclaimed magic fan. His freaking Twitter handle is Duval Magic. Randy probably went, can we get Penn and Teller? Because I, lo I love those guys. Their, their magic is really cool and they're funny. I think they'd be open to it. I think they'd be a good fit. And everyone went, Randy, really? Seriously, we're going to put Penn and Teller in the game? He's like, yeah, it'd be, I think we're going to do it. We're going to, okay, we're going to do it. You're fired, by the way, for doubting me. It's a good inclusion. Like, I like it. I like the Penn and Teller section. It, it was hilarious the first time I played this game to realize it was freaking Penn and Teller. But you can't deny, it's a little odd. Cthulhu should be corrosion resistant. Is he going to be the boss of the new DLC? Um, I hope that it's not Cthulhu because that'd be really hard to kill because, you know, you can't kill him. He's invincible. But uh, yeah, if Cthulhu was a boss, Cthulhu should resist all the elements. No element should work on Cthulhu. Except boat. If you had a gun that shoots boats, that would probably work. They should have played Tinder Snowflakes theme during this. This game has a distinct lack of Christmas music. It could use some more. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Come on, Aurelia. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what I thought. Corrosion beats cryo. Corrosion! Today, I saw a man's hopes and dreams get crushed in like one second right before my eyes. So my brother is at home and he's bored his quarantine. And so he decided to play The Last of Us, right? And he plays the entirety of The Last of Us in one day. And then I say, hey, do you like the game? He's like, yeah, it's pretty good. We have The Last of Us too, right? And I was like, what? He's like, we had the second one, right? You bought that? And I'm like, oh, oh I'm so sorry. It's, it's not out yet. And he was like, oh. See, the rest of us had to wait like seven years, though. He, he has like a couple months of a wait, so it's not as bad for him. But still, it was pretty funny, though, because he was like, oh, 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 no. So, yep, experience my sorrow. Grave Ward, allow me to introduce you to my famous family recipe. Marcus is being bonito. <laughs> Take that, Grave Ward. All right, come on. Give me at least one good gun. That's all I want. I'm not asking for a lot. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's a better jackhammer. Hi, Schlep. Hi. No, no. Hey, uh, TDR, though. But, nah. But maybe. Uh, it's for Zane. But it is Karu. Ah, we won't buy it. That's good. It's OP. Get it. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for Zane, though. I'm not playing Zane. I'm playing Amara. Homing Merv. More like, stay home, Merv. We don't need you in my loadout. Is it ironic that you're doing a corrosion-only run during a viral outbreak? Um, no. See, I don't think you understand the definition of what ironic is. A lot of people don't understand what irony is. See, here, here, here's an example of irony. It's like rain on your wedding day. Oh, hang on. Run number three is the run for me. There it is. Bazinga. Look at this thing, chat. Look at this thing. This level 15 ratchling, no chance. Annihilated. All right, let's see if we have any skills. Ugh, I feel dirty saying it. Any skills that can increase corrosive damage. I probably do, right? Don't put that in the highlights yet. Don't worry, that's not going in. They won't know about that. Chris Hardwick, we gotta make a talk show. Me and you. Called Talking Borderlands. Borderlands show, look out. I got some star power. I've got D-list celebrity Chris Harbrick on my show. What do you got? See, a lot of guns are strong, but they look kind of lame. Like, all Maliwan guns just look look super lame. But the Hornet has form and function. Oh, nice try, Slugger. Oh, crap. Whoa. Whoa. She transcended level boundaries to attack me. The Hornet is so much better, dude. Last time when I did this with, like, Jacobs, it was impossible. Dude, we got two already. Nice. See, some people, when they do challenge runs, they don't stick to it. I'm doing corrosion only. I, I went so far that I got out of my car and used corrosion on Carnivora. Who else can say the same? My car blew up. Who did that? Oh, kill the supporting crew. Okay. Oh, they're over. Oh, they're over here. Oh, wait, there they are. Come here, car. I need you. Oh, I'm in the treads. Oh, it didn't kill me. Oh, it did kill me. Okay. Senza always gets out of the car for his runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Senza beat the game with a power glove. Yeah, I've heard it. I've heard it all before. I thought you guys were the same when I first discovered you all. Pfft. We have very different cadence. My cadence is very fast and slurred. His is very slow and measured and calm. 
I went over to Ellie and visited her and got the best gun from Ellie. My dream girl. That's Senza. I'm over here like, oh, all right, time to go corrosion only. Okay, it's time to go to Pantera. Uh, I think we're going to Pantera, actually. Um, 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 we should farm. That's me. Stop foreshadowing the Iridian homeworld, Tannis. You're ruining the story. If you're if you're a boomer, you go for sad. But if you're a zoomer, you go. So which sad song do you like? Tell me in the comments. Oh my God, Agonizer, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. This is not even fair for you. Oh, what? You're sponsored by Marcus too? So am I. What do you sponsor you for, Ammo? Well, he sponsored me for Marcus's Bean Burrito. Remember, kids, this battle was sponsored by Marcus's Big Bean Burrito. Now, Mr. Payne, there's one thing about me that you underestimated. You really thought that I wouldn't make the same joke in the span of a minute? <laughs> well, you're about as wrong as one of Marcus's bean burritos. Blah. Lilith, I swear to God, if you open your mouth one more time, I will end the stream right now. Hey. <laughs>